द टू लेडी राम्स अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी बाय मुल्क राज आनंद समरी एनालिसिस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द डिस्कोर्स मुल्क राज आनंद वॉज नोन फॉर हिज एबिलिटी टू एक्सप्रेस एंड टिपिक्ट द प्रॉब्लम्स फेस्ड बाय कॉमन इंडियंस अंडर द बर्डन ऑफ द कोलोनियल सिस्टम इन अ ट्रेजिक एंड हर्ट रेंचिंग मैनर However he knew that the same could be done in a humorous sarcastic manner too The Two Lady Rams is one such short humorous story in which Anand excellently targeted some of the societal ills along with the oppressive nature of the British government that had nothing to do with the welfare of Indians but their only motive was to exploit the colony by hook or crook Summary and analysis of the Two Lady Rams The story is about Lala Jhinda Ram, a contractor of British India. Lala Jhinda Ram practices dishonesty in his profession. He is a master in forgery and thus is used by the foreign masters for deception, exploitation and domination over native people as he cooperates with the white masters in corruption. However, the government cannot let Jhinda Ram and other people like him realize that they are being used as a tool to rob their nation and people. The British government achieves this by conferring meaningless titles and awards to the native Indians helping them in their goals. Lala Jhinda Ram has also attained such a meaningless title of knighthood and a celebratory party is arranged for him. The governor sends him an official invitation addressing him as Sir Lala Jhinda Ram and Lady Ram to the party. Sir Lala Jhinda Ram is very excited. He feels a sudden increase in worth as now he is almost equal to the English officers his masters. However, this invitation creates a familial problem for Lala Jhinda Ram. Mulk Raj Anand elaborates on this familial problem of Sir Lala Jhinda Ram in his story to explain the fraudulence of the knighthood that Lala Jhinda Ram attains. He becomes a sir not for his bravery or skills in some arts or crafts. He becomes a sir for his expertise in corruption that helps the British government. Like many other rich Indians, Lala Jhinda Ram is too influenced by the British and tries to mimic their ways in his life while ridiculing his own roots and traditions. These people considered the British as superiors and hence the desire for freedom never touched their hearts. Lala Jhinda Ram's house is built in the famous Purda style and mimics any ordinary British bungalow with a veranda decorated by palm trees and hanging plants leading through a narrow hall into a large living room like other rich indians of british india jhinda ram always seeks to copy the language culture and society of the colonizer but in doing so he often ignores his roots and his identity the british government recently abolished polygamy for hindus though maintained the mithakshara law according to which anyone who fails to have a child with his first wife can marry multiple times until the birth of a child lala jhinda ram's first wife sukhi belonged to a rich family she is beautiful too she brought a huge dowry of rupees 1 lakh for lala jhinda ram obviously she holds a financial worth in his life and she administers it by trying to control jhinda ram as a dominant wife but jhinda ram is an expert trickster As Sukhi fails to conceive a baby he declares her infertile Jhinda Ram then marries Shakuntala a poor girl to attain a baby Shakuntala is very beautiful and young she marries Jhinda Ram to attain financial stability she too is dominant and tries to control Jhinda Ram as per her wishes through her beauty and youth Thus he peacefully manages his both wives by dividing his house into two separate wings one for each wife to manage he used to sleep with each of his wives on alternate days and showered both with equal attention while lala jhinda ram himself treated his both wives justly the british government that carved the mithakshara law doesn't care if all the wives of a man get equal status and rights or not When Jhinda Ram gets the invitation for the celebratory party of his knighthood he initially thinks to take Shakuntala with whom he is romantically involved to the party however one of his servants informed Sukhi about the garden party she confronts Lala Jhinda Ram and declares that being the first wife she will accompany him to the party 
When Jinda Ram meets Shakuntala, she insists that he should take her to the party instead. This creates a problem for Jinda Ram. It is a huge confusion because the invitation card clearly states Sir Jinda Ram and Lady Lady Ram. But which of his two wives has been invited is not clear. He decides to meet the governor or ADC to clarify on this. He could think so because now he is one of the sirs. He is knighted. When he calls the ADC who is busy preparing for the party and expresses his desire to meet the governor, he thinks that Lala Jindaram has already given the share of commission from the shady negotiations to the governor. Also, there is no new deal coming to the fore. Thus, he feels no need for the governor to offer any time to Lala Jindaram and he ignores his call. Lala Jindaram is desperate to meet the governor to get a solution to his problem. He tries to talk to ADC again but fails. His newly attained knighthood is meaningless. He knows that he cannot directly meet the governor as the quota of commission for the year has been submitted and there is no new deal for his business. So he decides to disguise himself as a manager of cutlery and meet the governor with the fresh proposal for commission. Lala Jindaram knows that the English officers will allow him to meet the governor if he shows promise of extra commission. However, he fails to meet the governor as he is taking a nap at that time. Lala Jindaram has no time to wait as he has to attend the party in the evening with one of his wives. In his pensive mood, he gets a solution from his driver. The driver says that the governor may not meet him, but the governor cannot stop him from taking both his wives to the party. Sir Lala Jindaram smiles at this. He sends a message to each of his wives separately to get ready for the party, while he goes to his workplace to mend some papers. At his office, he practices his expertise in forgery and cleverly changes the address on his invitation card from Sir Lala Jindaram and Lady Ram to Sir Lala Jindaram and two Lady Rams. Lala Jindaram is so confident of his forgery skills that even if someone catch questions him why he brought both his wives to the party, he would show them the card. After all, he has been awarded the knighthood for forgery. He is confident about managing Sukhi and Shakuntala too to his solution as he is an expert in deception. In the evening, right before the party, he reaches home and as both Sukhi and Shakuntala are ready, he takes them to the party. Sukhi and Shakuntala aren't happy about this, but they do accept it because it hurts the ego of none of them. At the party, Sir Lala Jindaram introduces both his wives as the two Lady Rams and both are equally acknowledged and praised for their beautiful saris. The title also suggests that despite being dominant women, both Sukhi and Shakuntala are dependent on Sir Lala Jindaram for recognition as they have no individual identity of their own. So this is it for today. We will continue to discuss the history of English literature. Please stay connected to the discourse. Thanks and regards.